Shira Lazar for What's Trending. The world was captivated, millions of live streams online by Mars Curiosity landing on Mars last night, but one man did capture the web's attention. He actually became the Mohawk Man. I'm joined right now from JPL in Los Angeles, California by Bobek Ferdowski. How are you, Bobek? I'm good. Uh, still li living the dream. I mean, this is an amazing experience and uh, uh, just can't believe it still happened last night. Yeah, so let's describe, one, what your job is, being a flight director of this entire mission. We're kind of like the, you know, maybe hopefully not so dramatic, but a lot like the Apollo 13 movie. We got Ed Harris's character who's leading that room and he's like, you know, systems are you go, Capcom go. We have that kind of moment as well. Um, and that's, that's sort of my, my job in a nutshell. How long have you been working at JPL and on this project specifically? I've, I've actually, uh, they're both the same. I started on this project as soon as I got to JPL and it's been almost nine years. It'll be nine years in November. Was there at any moment last night where you thought the mission might not be accomplished? You know, there's always that sort of uh, gut-wrenching feeling the whole time, just the number of things that have to go right for this to work. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, once we started seeing the telemetry flow, we started, uh, all the things were just like clicking off like a checklist. Uh, Al was, uh, Al Chen, you know, was the voice last night, and uh, he's just, you know, telling us, yes, this is confirmed, this is confirmed. And, uh, you know, I started getting giddy. I was like, this is, this is actually happening. This is finally, this is finally it. Well, you had nine years of work. So tell people what goes into the moment of making this all happen. I mean, I started uh, in 2003. We were a team here at JPL of maybe 50 people. Uh, at our peak, we were probably uh, had about 1,000 people working on the project. Um, with that, within JPL and NASA, or, or locally, we've had, I think, 3,500 people work on, on this mission. Uh, and as you can you know, tell us, nine years. I, I think I heard once an estimate that it's, you know, 5,000 man years of work or so. So that, you know, you can imagine it would take one person 5,000 years to do this mission. Um, luckily, we have, you know, teams of, of very smart, hardworking people to get it done a lot sooner. But uh, uh, it takes an enormous effort. It's a huge team effort. And I think, you know, you could see it last night in the control room. We were all hugging and crying. And uh, it's an incredible moment. We're, we're fr you know, we're more than co-workers at this point. A lot of us are, are really close friends. And uh, this is just a one of those seminal moments that we could share with each other. Now, uh, we saw on the live stream a lot of people were on their smartphones. Were you allowed to live tweet this? What were the rules around social media? Uh, we, you know, I think they were, they were encouraging it to some degree. You know, our, our, uh, our lead fund director for the landing, Keith, uh, you know, he uh, sent a picture of himself back to his family at home sitting there. Uh, you know, it was, as long as it wasn't distracting us from actually keeping an eye on the spacecraft, it was okay. And, uh, you know, near the end, of course, none of us were really paying attention to our social media anyway. We're all just fixated on the screens, trying to see telemetry come down and, and uh, you know, watch what was really, for some, you know, for some people, even on this project, almost 10 years in the making. During the live stream, from the beginning, you caught people's attention because your mohawk stood out <laughs> of the crowd. Now, did you realize this was all happening? Um... You know, I, I knew something was a little strange, just the number of uh, texts and things that were coming through my phone. I, you know, of course, there's always the, uh, you know, something like this. Your friends and everybody else are going uh, to, you know, text uh, you things or email you things or whatever. Uh, it probably really wasn't until a couple hours after we landed, after sort of like we all hugged. And I went over, you know, there's a, we have uh, the operations room we were in, of course. There's another team of people in, in what's called the EDL War Room. And a lot of my friends over there, so I ran over there, you know, give hugs to those guys, went to the press conference. And I started looking at my phone at this point, and uh, I'm seeing, you know, hundreds of emails and Facebook, you know, friend requests and whatever else. And I was like, oh, something happened here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so it's a little crazy. I'm, you know, at this point, I'm still dealing with the fact that uh, we just landed this thing on Mars. So I haven't had a chance to kind of finish taking that in before even getting to the whole Internet thing. Um, but... And as much as, you know, if my mohawk gets a few more people excited about science and this mission, that's awesome. That's what it's all about. Uh, for, for us here, you know, this was just having fun. The team voted on this style. They were, well, they voted on the colors and the theme sort of for the hair. And uh, this is something I've been doing for, for big events on this project. And, uh, I, you know, for, for us, it's just one way to bring a little levity to what's otherwise, you know, a very serious, uh, very serious situation and job. I thought we were going a little more subtle this time, honestly, like some of the colors and other things have been a little bit more vibrant. 
Uh, but, you know, I guess uh, it still stood out a little. Can you show me it? Can you do me that profile shot? Uh, yeah. So people know it is you that I'm talking to. <laughs> you are the Mohawk man. Uh, yeah. Have you seen all of this? I've seen uh, a couple of the memes, of course, and, I, you know, they're hilarious. I just, I can't help uh, but laugh at that. Um, you know, I've only begun to sort of start to look at the Twitter thing. Uh, it is a little surreal still. Um, but, uh, you know, I, you know, it's, it's all in good fun. I'm, I'm just having a good time still. We're still, you know, uh, reveling in this landing thing. And, uh, you know, for me, for me, I got, uh, you know, I, I have work uh, again starting tomorrow, starting tomorrow, uh, get back to work and, you know, start doing science and everything else. But, uh, I'm hoping, you know, if, if whatever comes of this, I hope it encourages a lot of people to get into the you know, math and science and technology and engineering stuff. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and you know you don't have to you don't have to look like the guys in the skinny ties and the white shirts and the the horn rim glasses. Although I'm wearing my glasses today, um, but you can yeah you can be whatever you want, and uh, as long as you you know have a passion for this thing, it's uh, it's a great job. What's next for you now that it is landed? What goes on with your job? Yeah, so uh, for the next couple months, I'll be still being a flight director on a surf on the surface side of things. Um, so I'll still be doing a very similar job to what I had in cruise. And then uh, after that, it's going to be a lot of uh, you know either evolving that into another job on this project or looking for kind of jobs to start again on the the next project. So it's a hustle getting a gig with NASA. Uh, you know, we, we hope not. We always hope that there's plenty of uh, good work to, to come. And I think, I think there will be. I think that, that having um, this kind of uh, national and international excitement about this project will encourage you know, more projects like this in the future. Now, through your popularity, a lot of people, both men and women, are asking, are you single? No, no. I'm, I, have a, I have a great girlfriend. She's uh, put up with me for the last couple of years. So we put in those you know, 80-hour weeks or whatever trying to get this thing done. And uh, I'm actually just looking forward to spending some time with her. I've barely seen her since we landed, of course. And uh, I, I don't know how she feels about the whole thing yet, but uh, hopefully she'll be cool with it. The popularity of the live stream and with everything that's happened to you, what does that say about the interest around uh, space and exploration? Uh, I hope it says that, uh, that people are excited. And, I, and I'm really hoping that it, it kind of inspires a younger generation of, of people to get inspired by it. You know, uh, this is, it's a lot of fun to do this. And uh, it's also just, I mean, the accomplishment in itself is a big deal. And, of course, the science that we're going to get for the next couple of years, understanding habitability, that's, a, that's big not just for Mars, it's big for us, too. I mean, understanding what it takes uh, for life to exist somewhere, is, it's a big deal. Uh, knowing, you know, if, if, if Mars could have hosted life at one point, maybe that means there's other planets out there, too.